So we're doing another torch run. Just finished the torch, uh, the St. Trina's torch. Now it's time for the regular torch. Let's see. I'm gonna go hero. I already picked that, so that's good. Saves me a click or two. Stone sword key. We'll go. I made a new appearance, actually. I kind of want to tweak this one a little bit because I didn't really spend a lot of time on it. But uh, I don't know, kind of like it. Wish I could zoom in. Hang on. Like, there you go. Very jovial young man. Let's go. I was just going for a happy face with this guy. That's all I really wanted. Look how happy he is. It's like, I can't wait to use a torch. Can you parry with a large leather shield? You can, okay. Wonder what the character looks like hollow? He would probably look terrifying. I wish that was a thing in this game, though. It'd be cool. I miss that from Dark Souls 1 and 2. <laughs> you can't wait to set stuff on fire. Fellow arsonist. I don't know why I said fellow. He's an arsonist fellow, rather than a fellow arsonist. Hmm, how much does the torch cost? I guess we'll see. Hopefully like 200, because I'll have... Actually, I think the golden rune too that's outside of the Church of Ella is 400 runes, so... I think we'll be good. 20,000 blood echoes. Could you imagine if a torch costs that much? So I'll probably do Godric and Renala. Don't really need to do Radon for this run. Can infuse this thing. And I need to go to Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. I think for the Ghost Flame Torch, I'd probably do Renala and Radon. I think at least, like, unless I have to go through Stormvale, I'm probably just going to do Renala on every run. Unless I have a somber weapon, because Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel is just so good for smithing stones. And if you go there, you might as well just go to Ray Lucaria, because you're right there. Oh, I forgot to buy the torch, I just realized. Eh, whatever, let's get to gate front and then we'll go back. I'm silly. This is another one of those runs where we could do everything in new game, but I feel like if you've seen my runs, you know by now that that's not going to happen. <laughs> do everything in new game plus and just any percent. A new game. Except. Thanks, Melina. What if I treat him with disrespect? Oh, is Ronnie gonna be here? Ugh. Hang on. Let me do this. I'm gonna make it daytime. So I don't have to listen to her. I never saw Ronnie here on my first playthrough. I didn't get the spirit tuner or whatever it is, the bell, until the round table, like way later. Sell this. Purchase the weapon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Back to the first step. Yeah, so if no torches got requested ever again, I think the earliest we would have seen a torch is probably like 40 runs from now, but this one was a, a first time request, so that's why we're doing St. Trina's and this essentially back to back with a DS3 run in between. Let me throw this on there. I don't even think I'm going to use the torch attack on this. Torch run? Yep. Someone hates you? Two people did. I just did a torch run not too long ago. <laughs> you like that I give first request priority? Yeah, I just think, you know, because if someone's coming in here for the first time and they haven't been around as long as people who have been here a long time, like their requests are basically never going to go through. So I, you know, I changed the system a while ago to make it so first time requests will go almost immediately unless there's like a slew of them and then it'll just get like put in a queue. And then even after your first request, you still have a much higher chance to see your weapon picked for, you know, at least a while. It kind of punishes people who have been here a long time, but I've also done a lot of their weapons too, so. Because the way I used to do it was, it was basically, I think like, well, I kind of did that still. I, I don't remember how I did it. I, it was it was the same thing, I guess, but there was no random roll. So, um, you know, people who haven't been here as long would still get priority in the queue, but like the people who, like Kabo's got, I've done like 10 of Kabo's weapons, right? And he's got probably another 13 or 14 in queue. And essentially there was no way you would ever see any of those. So at least now there's like a chance with the roll, but the chance is not great. But I did Henri Straitsword, that was his. 
And it's funny, too, because I was like, like, he had seven requests, I think, at that point, or six or seven, and then he requested Henri Straight Sword, and of course that was the one that got picked instead of, like, the other seven. And then I think before I even had, like, this, the priority, that like, there was no priority. It was basically just, like, first come, first serve. Because that's when, you know, there were, like, three people requesting weapons. The only rule I had back then was, like, I'm not going to do the same person's run back to back. And that was last year, too. That was, like, when the Moonlight Greatsword was happening. It wasn't that long ago. Crazy to think that run, or those series of runs, started a year ago. I think in March. All right, let me see. Do this and this and buy these. What I also would like to do, too, is to implement some way of, like, taking YouTube requests. I just don't know how yet. Because it doesn't happen often, but, like, you know, I'll get comments of, uh... People wanting to see certain weapons in, uh, in YouTube comments. I just haven't really figured out a way, a good way to do that yet. Because I like keeping the YouTube only runs random, completely random. Axe Talisman. But there's probably been at least like, you know, a dozen or so requests for weapons on YouTube. On stream at a certain time on YouTube, like every other week, every week slash other week slash month. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely that's definitely a possible like an idea. I just don't know what I want to do, I guess. Cause I could easily just dual cast. Like I don't I don't think there's anything against that. Unless affiliates can't do it and only partnered streamers can, which again, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. But I guess the tricky thing with the YouTube comments the those requests is like anyone could just request anything at any time. You know? I like having the channel point reward for uh for the stream, and I don't think I really have an equivalent for for YouTube. Super chat. I mean, you could. I don't really want to like I don't want to bring money into it, though. I don't want like people paying for requests with money. 500 per request. <laughs> God, could you imagine? The, uh, the DLC trailer theme reminds me of that song I just played for Gil. That's why I, I think it's like an open world boss theme. It's got similarities anyway. I think like the triplet structure probably has something to do with it. I will literally just play the trailer only to listen to the music. Like, I don't even watch the trailer. I just listen to the music because it's so good. Are the Urtree avatars worth killing? I'd say so. They can give you stuff for your physic, which is good. And honestly, they're not too hard. They're essentially straight even. With uh, more speed, I'd say. And then that one attack with the projectiles. You got the exploding physic. Yeah, they have a bunch of them. There's a, a good number of physics, which I get literally zero of in New Game, but I get all of them in, in, uh, in New Game Plus because I have to kill all of them. I don't get every, every tier, but I get most of them. Because some don't come from those guys from the minor trees in general. Like, you have the Eleonora one, or Moog. That one's off an NPC. I did touch the Grey Set side Faroth, right? I hope I did. Wasn't thinking. Okay, good. Good. We do need smithing stones on this run. So I'll grab all these. Seven, seven, stone sword key, and eight. I think those are the only 7s and 8s here. I could be wrong, though. I, I don't know if there are more. Should maybe look into that. Although there's not going to be enough 8s to not have to go to the snowfield, which we're going to have to do on this run for sure. Like, I, I'm already getting... Or I'm already planning on getting plus 25 before gods can do, because that fight is going to suck. It was fine with St. Trina's torch, because I could put them to sleep, but with this torch, I can't. And I don't use sleep pots, so... No sleep pots here. Oh, Melina, no, no, go away. I didn't mean to rest, I'm an idiot. Torrent, whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering. She's a faker. She's pretending. Oh, I just walked right through the kinder to rot. I am probably gonna die now. Pass threads? No pass threads. Okay. Never mind, we're fine. Totally fine. I dead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I would survive that or not. Ugh. Hate that drop. So we'll definitely come back here later on to do Sally Crystal Tunnel. Back to the first step. 
We just gotta get some more smithing stone ones. We'll upgrade this thing to plus three and then head to Stormvale. We can do some market parrying. Yeah, I, you know, unless there's a torch request again in the near future, I'm honestly not expecting to do one for like years after doing these two back to back. Let's do all of these. Purchase these. All done. Back here. Next torch run will be when Elden Ring 3 comes out. <laughs> If they actually do a sequel, I don't think it'd be out for like another at least four or five years. I know they're not planning on doing one, but I don't, I'm just curious to see what they do next. You know, they got Armored Core up again. I think their next game will be like something completely different, some new IP. But is it going to be a Souls like? Is it going to be something else completely? I don't know. Pirate game? Elden Ring 3 and GTA 6 out at the same time. How long is GTA 6 getting delayed for? Like 12 years? <laughs> Do this. I'm gonna grab this stone sword key. Actually, you know what? Let's just go to the round table. I'll come back and get it after. Actual DLC for Sekiro. I think they'll announce their next game by the end of the year. Remake DS1. I don't know if they'd remake anything, to be honest. They, they seem like they will just outsource it. Sell... I don't even know how much I need for this. More than that. Okay. That work. Boom. So we're pretty much building for Godskin Duo. Because I think that'll be the hardest run. Hardest boss in the run. Turn Kingsfield into an open world Souls game. Imagine the Kingsfield Resurrection after bringing back Armored Core. If, you know, how long has it been? Like over 10 years since, or about 10 years since entries? Bringing back Kingsfield. It's been even longer. I don't have the source seal on, I just realized. Also never said my physic. Can't parry that. Probably can parry that. Can't parry that though. Tarnished. Oh, I remember doing that in the last torch run too, trying to do that charge R2 after that attack and it would just never hit because it doesn't reach for whatever reason. A game that had huge potential, Fallout 76. Yeah, that whole launch was a fiasco. I heard it got better, but I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. Oh, this is a horrible spot to be. Like, right, I'm dead. I was right against the, the edge there. I thought it was a goner for sure. Uh, no parry? What, the, what is this game? I think you can parry that attack you just did when he dashed towards me. 
It's much better, I think, to punish. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, if you have to tank anything, tank the sword that he spawns. Do not tank the the cane thing. Because that does more damage. That was scripted tanking. Luckily, I had enough health because he did it twice. He did that that four part combo like twice. Hope we never see him again. <laughs> How far into the game are you? Open the gate. So more strength. Beat the grafted guy trying to find the other four. Oh, so you haven't seen past Godric, really? No, I should still get more vigor. I want to get like 60 vigor by the time we do Godskin Duo. And a manor with hand enemies. Ooh, Kari Manor. Yeah, you won't see that here until New Game Plus. Looking for a Glintstone key. Okay. Trying to get to the academy. Well, if you don't want spoilers, we're going to beat that key in like very soon. It honestly like happened so quick here that you might not even notice it. There's smithing stone twos over there. I never bothered to get those, though. I don't really need them. For some reason, I remember this golden seed being more over here. I don't know why. Also might go to weeping at some point just to get the sacred tears there. Happens so quick. You might not even notice it. That's what she said. Too real. No parrying, Godric. Oh god, lag. Oh, Hax Talisman, hang on. That won't reach. Oh, it did reach. Nice. Thought the range was not going to be good enough. I never get tired of that scream. So, hey, if this is like St. Trina's Torch at all, this thing should be a stagger machine. That thing was so good for staggering. It had no right to be that good. Damn it, I was trying to get another or charge or two. According to the man at the table, this guy is the weakest of the demigods. Yes. Which is crazy because the first time you fight him, I guess it depends on when you fight him. It doesn't feel like he should be that weak. He looks pretty intimidating. But to be fair, Limgrave is like the easiest area. So even just like game wise, he's the easiest. Uh oh, no. Oh, that could have been really bad. I am the Lord of all that is golden, and one day we'll return together to our home. Bathed in rays of gold. Long sigh. So now we just need to get a bunch of twos. We need to get some threes. We'll probably end up getting plus eight for uh, Ray Lucario.
I'd be surprised if this run was faster than St. Trina's Torch, honestly. Just because the sleep was actually pretty good for that. And honestly, I could get away with it, except for God's Can Do, like having no sleep that is. I just think God's Can Do with a regular torch is going to be so painful. With no way to put them to sleep. I need to get some tanky armor. So I think, well, actually, I'm going to do Nile before God's Can Do, so I'll probably end up using the veteran set. You know what to expect using a torch? Yeah, it's just, it depends, I think, really on how long I get stuck on God's Can Do for. <laughs> if I'm on that fight for like an hour, it's going to be a problem. I think when I did the first torch run, which was the steel wire torch, it was like an 18 minute fight. It was very long. All right, sell. Actually, I don't need to sell anything. We can just buy this outright. Twos, and then I got to go get the three, and then we go warp to the south gate. I wonder what would be the next best armor after the bull goats set, because I'm not I'm not doing patches quest line just to get that armor. The tree sentinel set supposed to be pretty good. But that's kind of out of the way. Like, that's the thing. The veteran set is good, and it's also not out of the way. Not out of the way is very important for me. <whistles> uh, I'm going to level up here. I mean, the start of this run up to the snowfield is pretty much the same as the St. Trina's Torch, because I started with this torch. I could have picked a different one, actually. But honestly, like, well, like, I don't know. There's really nothing that close. The Beast Repellent Torch is in Kaled. I'm not going there. The Steel Wire Torch is in Weeping. Like, pretty far into Castle Morn. Don't really want to go there. And then you have the the other one, the Sentry's Torch, which is holy damage, and I don't want to use that. Where is the Grace over here? I think it's, like, north of this. Although, to, to be fair, this is the torch run, so, like, why would I use something else before using this? Didn't really think about that <laughs> when I started talking. Oh, I forgot the, uh, the golden runes. Ah, oh, it's a fight. There are some smithing stone 3s up ahead. I could get those. Might just do that. Maybe we take the long way to... to get to Rhea Crystal Tunnel. I'm going to aggro these guys. That's the problem. If I didn't aggro these guys, I could just warp away. But I don't know. Maybe I can kill him real quick. Hmm. Maybe not. Seven of these. I feel like I'm one shy. There are five in the... Hmm. I wonder if I can sneak to that. Probably not. I'm, I don't want to risk that. That gazebo. The best part of the torch runs, though, is the light in the tunnels. There's so many dark tunnels in this game. Not anymore, though. How many threes do we have? We have four? Okay, I think we're good then on that. I got all the threes I needed to, so I'll be able to buy the two. So we, we should be able to get plus nine after this. Where's the tunnel? This way? This way. And the torch should be pretty good for the Crystallion because strike damage. Currently using the Twin Blade. Is there a better one I should be using? A better Twin Blade? There's a Bleed Twin Blade. I think the Godskin Peeler and the... What's the other one? Eleanor's Pole Blade are probably, like, do the best. Godskin Peeler has Black Flame Tornado. That one you probably won't get for a while. Actually, both of them are probably, like, out of your range for where you are in the game. I don't know if there's, like, another early-ish game Twin Blade you can get. What am I doing? I'm running past all the Smithing Stones. Three... Yeah, I would say just try a bunch of different things out. At certain, like, once you get certain items, you can just straight up buy upgrade materials, like, all the upgrade materials you would need to upgrade. As much as you want, except for, like, a max level weapon. The last smithing stone you need for weapons is not available for bridges. But everything up to that is. Got gifted a rapier that has soul... like, soul mass? Yeah, the Roger's rapier. What am I doing here? Am I good on this? Yeah, I think we're good. This tunnel actually gives you a bell bearing, and that allows you to buy smithing stones. Rogerio's rapier, I think, is pretty good, though. I never really used it, but I've heard, you know, the weapon around it is pretty solid. I don't know what of this stuff I need, but I'm just going to grab it all. Three, two, three. Okay. 
10. I th think we're probably good, but I'm just going to grab this in case. Pick it up. Twelve and fourteen, beautiful. Do it, I dare you. He did it. Gotta commend him for that. Valiant effort, dude. Not enough though. I don't think you can parry that one. Oh, it's so delayed. You can parry his uh, right hand. But I don't think you can parry the big ring. That is so much faster than I expect it to be. Of course, I'm still going to keep trying because I feel like my timing could be off. Yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think you can parry the big ring. A left handed attack. A right handed attack, I mean, sorry. What a fight. Yeah, we don't need to return here. Let's go to the round table. Hugh, help. All the way to plus nine. Okay. Then we're going to Ray Lucario. Andre let himself go. Yeah. It's been rough. Only 40 minutes in. Hmm. I was going to do something. I don't remember what, though. What the hell was I? I don't know. Vigor's already at 31. Jesus. With the uh, sword seal. Like I said, that's going to level 60. Or 60 Vigor. I feel like this run should be going way more slowly than it is. Well, let's see how long it takes us to get through here. What armor did I use for St. Trina's Torch? Did I use the, the warrior armor the entire time? I can't remember now. Might have. Except for Raycard, obviously. Ugh, Raycard. No, I, f I just forget. Raycard with torches is just pure pain. Unless you have the Ghost Flame Torch. St. Trina's Torch can put him to sleep, but the problem is I'm just hitting him constantly, so even if he goes to sleep, he doesn't actually go to sleep. Because if you hit something after they, you know, after you proc the sleep proc, then they'll wake up immediately. So I didn't get to really see what was going on there. Because I'm not going to just, like, do R1s slowly and try and sleep him. I'm just going to keep spamming it. There's a stone sword key here we can get. What do I have three right now? I have six. What? How? You start with two. I got one from Stormhill Shack. I don't remember what other ones I've got. Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe one in Kaled somewhere? I don't know. Oh, the yeah, the one with the sevens and the eight. I got that one. Also, I don't think I put anything on my physic. Did not. Damn, damn, again. Nice. Less nice.
Pump it into vigor. 31. Oh, it's lagging. It's lagging. I'm gonna grab the golden seed here. I'm definitely gonna go a little out of the way for these. Because I want to have lots of healing for Godskin Duo. I'll probably just, like, after Fire Giant, go into the fight and just to see how it is, we'll uh, try it. But uh, I'm sure I'll need to get more stuff. Sacred Tears, Golden Seeds for Flasks, all that stuff. Moongrum! Get out of here. See ya! <laughs> He's not dead, unfortunately. But hopefully I won't die here. And it won't be a problem. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I got like a little boost of speed there. That was weird. We can do torch attack. Actually, you can't do torch attack unless the torch is in your left hand. Which is silly. So no weapon art in this run, essentially. What does L2 even do? Oh, it's just like another R2. That's interesting. How missed this one. And see here. Stop the fire. Definitely gonna be three cycles. So bright. It like hurts my eyes to look at this. <laughs> I put the torch away, my God. Yeah, Ronella was actually one of the leaked bosses uh, before the game came out. There's leaked footage of the cutscene that begins this phase. Can, can this guy just go away? No. Yeah, I couldn't, uh... Couldn't recover from my heal in time. Stop. Or sworn giant scary. Now this is where I wish I had my physic. Can you just cast spells, Renella? Can you stop using summons? Not possible. That's gone.
Thank you. That's a very helpful. Yeah, she's dead. Let's see if I can get the the warp timing right here. Oh, I don't have the. Oh no, I have a, I have a, I have a grease outside of or where I need to be. This one. This is tricky. You do it too early, you get warped back to the tower. And I don't really know the timing, I just kind of wing it. Yep, I got warped back to the tower. I mean, Ellen, baby, what level are you be to be able to solo this boss? Right now, I am uh, level 27. But if it's your first time, you'd probably be higher just because there's a lot of stuff that I skipped. I mean, you can do the entire game at level one. It just takes a long time to, I guess, work up to that point or a long time to get through it. You don't really have to be like a certain level to do anything specifically. But you miss, I don't know, the boss. I don't know. I don't know what the last thing you saw was. Level 50 something. My butt's still getting whipped. Hey, if it's your first time playing the game, it's pretty normal. <laughs> Happens to everyone. Some more than others, but it's definitely a common experience. I've just played this game a lot. I will say level vigor. Health is good. I have more health now at level 34 than I had on my first playthrough. At like a much higher level. I was probably like level 50 or something. Probably around where you are, I would guess, when I was fighting this boss and I had like 30 vigor, I think. Yeah, don't get discouraged by dying though, you know? And don't be afraid to try new things. That's what I would say. Just try and learn something every time you go into a boss fight. Like, learn the boss timings, learn when to, to roll or to parry or to whatever you're doing. Blocking. Try and find a tell for certain attacks. Can be difficult for sure. And it gets, that's one of those things I think that just gets easier with more time in these games is learning bosses. But at times, like, they'll have so many attacks it can be pretty overwhelming to try and figure it out. Last thing you saw was Margit. So we did Stormvale and we did Ray Lucaria. That's pretty much it. Almost an hour in. Don't need that. Am I missing anything? I don't know if I'm missing anything. I think we're fine. Altus Plateau. I was uh, watching my first playthrough. I kept calling this place Atlas Plateau. My first playthrough. For like the entire thing. <laughs> I just, I didn't realize they said Altus. I don't think I had heard anyone say it. And in my head, it was just Atlas Plateau. The other thing with Elden Ring, too, is if you get, like, um, stuck on something, the nice thing is there's, like, so many other things you can do in this game. You know, you can just literally go explore for, like, 10 hours and then come back to whatever you get stuck on or whatever you are stuck on. Can't really do that with the Souls games. Not to the same degree, anyway. Can't wait to do that fight later on. Tree Sentinel. Duo. Hmm. I feel like I'm never here at nighttime for whatever reason. And it's probably because I made it daytime earlier on. Do you like that there are bosses in the area? You mean like the open world? Yeah, I'm a fan of that too. It's kind of nice. There for sure are a lot of bosses in this game. Been being carried and seamless with others. Do feel encouraged now to try on my own. Hey, man, I mean, if you're having fun and seamless, there's nothing wrong with that. I have yet to do the mod, but I know a lot of people have enjoyed it. And I feel like being good at these games is more often than not about knowledge. Oh, my God, stop. Jesus Christ. Favorite boss? I mean, if you don't want to be spoiled, I don't. I, I, it's a later game boss, but I don't know if you want spoilers. I don't know how far into it you are. Open to spoils. There's a boss later in the game called Moog. I won't spoil much of the fight, but that's my favorite fight. Love the boss theme. Love the fight. I like a lot of the late game fights, though. Here's the... right here. Give me that. And this. 
So we should be at six fives. Five five. Okay, yeah. No, there's one more here. Coming up. No, oh, don't miss the Oh my god. Am I gonna miss it again? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Why am I like this? Damn it. I hate trying to parry this guy. I'm so bad at it. Okay, I'm just gonna stop trying to parry you. I lied. I'm gonna continue to try to parry and fail. Because I never learn. Pretty sure you cannot parry that. I don't know if you can parry that either. You can parry the ending part of it, but I don't think you can carry when he's charging. Yeah, figured I'd try. It, I'm pretty sure it does not work, though. Huh? This damage is rough. I'm looking at the health bar and I realize how little I've actually hit this guy. Brother. I am going to die. Okay, I'm going to stop messing around. Or I'm going to die. One or the other. No in between. Looks like death. I'm surprised he hasn't staggered, honestly. This guy's usually pretty quick to stagger. Probably because I can't get a charge R2 off. Thank you. Damn it, man. I am just getting destroyed here. I don't think I ever set my physics, so I'm down a heal, which kind of sucks. What is he doing? Thank you. That was too close. That should not have been that close. <laughs> that was really bad. All right, we're going to go here. Celia Crystal Tunnel. We gotta get more fives, we gotta get the Smithing Stone Sevens from the Falling Star Beast. And then after that we do the tree, uh, the, yeah, tree sentinel. We'll level up here. 40 Vigor, and then we'll do more strength. Oh, I can't, never mind. 40 Vigor it is then.